Hi guys, welcome once again. I'm Peter Vigilio Olympio at House of Vigilio Rotwala Kendall's Ghana, West Africa. Jungle. On our topic, te start, test and value. Today episode three is going to be handled by Dr. Oni and it's about uh, blood chemistry and semen analysis. Please let's give him an audience. All right. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone, whatever you may be. Uh, my name is Dr. Honey. Uh, usually, I used to say that I love dogs. Um, I keep dogs sometimes ago. Now, I deal with dogs. So, and I love anything reproduction about dogs. So, just this moment, I want to brief you about uh, semen analysis and uh, blood tests. Please, before we continue, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for all notifications. Thank you. The importance in dog breeding. Uh, only a healthy dog can produce a healthy semen. And when you talk about semen, semen contains sperm. So, the total ejaculate from a dog is called semen. If there is underlying infection in a stuck dog, Maybe parasitic infection, it could affect its production of sperm cells. If there is systemic infection, maybe affecting the heart, affecting the liver, affecting the kidney, affecting the glands like thyroid, glands, and co, it could also affect spermatogenesis, which is the process of producing sperm cells. So, healthy dogs produce healthy semen. So, therefore, how do you know that your dog is healthy? That is where blood sample tests come into play. We have the simple one which is called uh, complete blood count, CBC, and from there you could know if a dog is anemic, maybe there is an ongoing infection, you could deduce some things from there. And uh, we have the comprehensive one which is known as blood chemistry or blood profile. Now that gives you detailed information so you may know whether the liver has a problem, whether the heart is a problem, whether the kidney or some other uh, organs in the body has a problem because it checks some parameters in the blood, like some of the hairs that are produced by the liver, some things concerning the kidney, concerning the heart, it checks the protein level, the you know, urea level, all these things. Once they are abnormal, whether they are too low or they are too high, it tests on the general systemic performance of the dog. Now, when you talk about breathing soundness examination, now, breeding sun examination is a total, that is a complete examination of stall dogs to deduce their reproductive performance. You want to know, are they fertile, are they subfertile, are they infertile? So, semen analysis is just a part of it. And when you talk about semen analysis, you want to collect the semen from the stall dog, and you want to check about the color, that is the appearance, you want to check the volume, you want to check things like the pH, you want to check the holder, you want to check motility. We have two types, the gross one, which you check under the microscope, and you also want to check the progressive motility, which is of most paramount to us. You want to also check the morphology. How many sperm cells are normal? You know, the moment you have a ratio of abnormal cells that is higher or that is um, not what we want to see, then the dog may be falling into what we call infertile. There are so many other parameters you can check in the semen. We have the, uh, the, the sperm count, we have the total sperm count, and we have the concentration also. So these are the few things you check on the semen analysis. Now, combination of all these things will make us to judge whether the dog is fertile, is subfertile, or is infertile. Now, when you talk about reproductive uh, test, Brucella Kenny's test, that is what we call Brucella test is very important in breeding dogs, especially star dogs, because Brucella canines affects reproduction a lot, and there is uh, an abortifacient agent, so we need to check at least uh, between six months to 12 months every year for the star dog. For the semen analysis, it is important that you do that three to four times, three to four monthly, that is to say every three to four months, maybe we we'll say a quarter. So quarterly, you do that quarterly for every stall dog that is actively breeding. Because even though the dog has just produced litter 
in the last uh, maybe uh, two months does not guarantee it producing another liter in the subsequent meetings. So it is very important that before you go ahead and breed your dog, test him so that you will be sure that the semen is capable of fertilizing the egg produced by the bish. Otherwise, you will have waited 63 days. That is time wasting. You have wasted the money. That is the money the bish owner is paying or whatever thing is the collateral. So to save people from haggling, because I've seen people, you know, being pain has pressed a lot of disappointment when they, as, you know, talk about how disappointed they are. So before you go ahead and breed your dog, it is important that you check the semen. And if you are a dog owner, as per a store dog owner, before you start collecting the money or before you start, uh, you know, asking people to say, okay, do this and that, please check your dog so that you'll be sure exactly of what you are doing. And when there's a problem of no conception, we can easily trace it to where it's coming from. Maybe the ovulation timing is wrong or maybe there is some underlying factors with the bitch. So that is just a summary of it. Concerning once again the blood sample test, uh, if we discover that your dog uh, is not able to produce, you know, maybe as a bitch or maybe a stud dog, you'll be using him, you no know, result. After all this thing, you want to really find out maybe there are some underlying factors behind it, underlying here illness, you know, something you can't see beyond the physical examination. You go for a blood test. From there, it will tell you whether there's even a tumor cell growing somewhere in the testes, whether there's a tumor in the ovary and co. So that is what we do. And with these two tests, the blood test and the semen analysis, it will push it forward, increase our you know, production rate, and it will increase and guarantee the reproductive performance of these store dogs. So I want to end this way, and I say thank you very much. Stay safe. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Today ends our topic on stud, value, and test. On our next episode, we'd like to have a question and answer tag. So please do tag along your questions or ask your questions in the comment section and all will be answered accordingly. Thank you. Please don't forget to share.